And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. When last we left off, the Wens, ugh, events unfolded rapidly. As we, not only was um, Malcolm Colley killed by Ripburger, unsurprisingly, but we also learned that Maureen is in fact the daughter of a Malcolm Colley. And Malcolm Colley's dying wish was that we shall make her or uh, make sure that she will become the next um, CEO of the company. And he also wanted us to hurt Ripburger very, very badly. Okay, I think we shall we can do so. Um, for now, we have to investigate this pile. This pile of debris. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Yeah, can we perhaps... Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. This Nothing camera. left but debris, except for that smashed up It would up be kind camera. of important, since this smashed up... Wait. Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Yeah, but uh, are you sure that we can't take this camera? I'm not putting my lips on that. Hmm. This place is messed up enough. Hmm. I don't think you can uh, actually get the camera. If I understood it correctly, this was the camera that actually the journalist had. So it should contain some very incriminating photos. But it will appear that we can't pick up this camera, so we should probably leave. And also, there's nothing here in Maureen's um, garage that we could pick up, apparently. I guess then we will just leave. Okay, can we leave the city? I don't walk. Maybe if we click on the bicycle first, then we can leave the city. Uh, we actually don't know where that ranch is, so how could we possibly... Well, I guess the game will just... And that problem again. Okay. Yeah, how how do we know actually where this ranch of Maureen is? Okay. Another question. Can we use the same trick again? Can we just lure them back over to the place? That would be kind of silly if we would have to apply the same solution a second time. I rather much doubt that this is the case, but there's only way to find out. Don't think so. Don't think so. Yeah. Don't think so. He refuses to grab um to sound of the alarm. The alarm. So we need uh, another plan. Okay. Yeah, somehow I think we have to go back to Todd's place. Just because we didn't do very much with the... Um, <clears throat> with this cellar, except picking up this torch. Can we maybe now grab the tin dog? I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Can't get up there. I don't collect art, hmm. and I also don't collect whatever that is. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. He still passed out. Okay, he would be probably be dead by now. But 
I'm supposed we are supposed to believe that he just just pass off. And by the way, did you did you notice that um, this uh, chimney looks rather suspicious? And by suspicious, I mean looks like a dildo that simulates also the clitoris. Okay. Let's leave before this uh, episode gets out of hand. I don't walk. Okay, can we? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, what to do? I really don't think that the solution to this to our problem right now is to be found inside his Todd's junkyard. Um, Also, I don't think we can actually, can't get back because I actually uh, lost the lock. Yeah, can't get back, so we don't have to bother with the junkyard. Um, maybe the solution is actually somewhere here. It's empty. Can I put the photo in the mailbox? That wouldn't be too useful. I thought so, okay. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, it's just... Is it the same debris? Looks like someone searched yeah, this place in it's the same debris. Okay. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed uh, up camera. Hmm. There's just this pile of de debris. Hmm. Uh, hmm. And here was... No, there was really nothing else to take. Hmm. Wait. Um... Let us actually check. We, we can exit this direction. But can we exit? We can also exit this direction. Maybe this is. Um, that's the solution? Uh, is it? I think it is, yes. That was silly. Did you notice that how <clears throat> did you notice how this game does a lot of recycling of scenery? Anyway, let's look at this semi. This sucker's mine. I think it's a car. Um can we Could use it, but also I want to check whether there's anyone. Hey, killer! What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Oh. Once again, our top story tonight: Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Mellonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. <laughs> Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. <laughs> We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Hmm, that's bad. But I kind of, um, it was kind of obvious that Ripburger was going to frame us for that murder. That was, in fact, the only reason why he had this idea 
of riding with the biker king, biker gang in the first place. Members of the Polecat gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all points bulletin. They got the Polecat. Hmm. Latest reports suggest that the leader of the Polecats may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Marie. The two are being sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnate Malcolm Corley. I wonder if Rip Burger actually knows that Maureen is... Well, I actually... Well, we do know that... We do know that he knows that she is part of Malcolm Corley because... Uh, in the last episode, in fact, one of Rip Burger's goons tried to murder Maureen. Asked yeah. about the eminent shareholders meeting, Corley Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders meet. The traitors of this myth have been brought to justice. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Okay, I didn't understand anything because the music was way too loud. Um, Anyway. Authorities are still seeking the leader of the Polecats and his accomplice, both thought to be armed and dangerous. Asked about the eminent shareholders meeting, Carly Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders meeting until the perpetrators of this mistake to justice. Oh, okay. he said that in case you didn't understand that, because it was a, music is a bit too loud, which I may actually um, adjust in a moment. Yeah, I can I think I can adjust the music setting. Okay, uh, he said Ripper said that the shareholders meeting is going to be suspended until the yeah criminals have been brought to justice. That's us. Okay. Um, can we talk to that guy who actually has a name, Emmett? He doesn't look happy. I don't think he looks like anything, but anyway. He's got a knife. Can we talk to him? Uh, I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Oh, really? I think you have too much time. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon's scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? Hmm. Okay, um. I will actually. I think I want to talk into you. I think I want to folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, quo I think I want to talk to the bartender first. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Hmm, he doesn't refuse to talk to me. Then I guess we will just talk to Emmett and get a ride. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone do that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. Hmm. We really, really need a ride, though. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. <laughs> I just killed a guy. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quoho. Yeah, Emmett? I'm going to be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to convince him that way. Um, Good talking to you. And when we come back, folks, we'll 
continue to try to convince Emmett that it is a very good idea to let us to give us a ride. Okay. So until next time folks, until then.